We're Slick Rock Productions, and as a lot of you guys know, we do a lot of rock crawling. Most of our cars are set up around rock crawling. We run portals on a lot of our cars. Um, the portals help because with the gear reduction, we're able to run a lot bigger tire. Um, we don't have to put as much preload on our shocks, so they articulate a lot better. Um, the clearance is obvious. That helps out a ton. They're wider, so they're very stable. But you also don't break as many axles. You don't go through the belts. It's a lot easier on your car for rock crawling. Um, the trail riding is really nice because the cars ride really plush. They're very stable. But the one place that we keep bumping into that we have not been able to make a portal car perform is the sand. And so um, this is a bad deal for us because we like to run the dunes. There's a lot of great dunes around here. And that is something that we really want to be able to do. And I don't want to buy extra cars to go run to the dunes. I want a car that will perform in Moab, perform on the trails, and we can go to the dunes. Dunes. And so we, uh, we've done a little bit of duning in portal cars, and honestly, we broke some stuff. The, a, a car, it just isn't set up for that kind of rolling mass if you want to air it out or hit the whoops really fast. And so our goal over the next few months is we're going to build some cars that will perform on any terrain. I want to be able to have a car to go wheeling in, a car to go trailer riding in, a car to go, uh, go to the dunes in, and I want it one car. And so I know what you're thinking, and it's probably going to come with a big price tag. And so to be able to set a car up to do all those things um, is going to be expensive but we're working with some companies to put some kits together some affordable kits and i'm going to let you know exactly what that costs to, to do beefy a arms trailing arms radius rods tie rod ends steering components to make a car so it'll handle the abuse of moab or rock crawling and to be able to catch 10 feet of air at the dunes and hit the whoops at 50 miles an hour and still be you know, I want to be able to sit down at the bottom of a hill and race with all my buddies in a portal car and be competitive. And so we're going to go to all extremes to make sure we can put kits together to build a car that you can go from one end to the other end in, in one car. And I want it to be affordable. I want everybody to be able to afford to experience that and to have a car that's capable no matter where you want to go riding. So pay attention to the next few videos as we pull these companies together and we put some kits together. Um, this is going to be really interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun and these cars are going to kick ass.